Hello, 20 something here with another speed build. I know, shocking, who would have thought it? But yeah, today I'm doing Simmer MZ's shell challenge and my goodness, when I put it on the lot, I was shocked by the size of it because you girls are used to doing small builds now. I didn't know what to do and as well, like I did the outside all like red and brown and hated it. So uh, it changed <laughs> to, you know, the white and green roofs and natural wood colours and I, to be fair I really really like the change although I don't know I just the other one I was trying really hard to make it something that other people would like and eventually I was just kind of like you know what I need to make it something that I'm gonna like or I'm gonna be really upset but as you're gonna say I go through quite a lot of changes with this build so I start off with the kitchen obviously in the, in the middle of the room and that's what I really really wanted to be and if I could have moved the walls I would have moved the walls so that the dining room had more room and I could have left the kitchen that way but it wasn't meant to be and you know i'm kind of sad about it because you know looking back through the videos now i really liked how it looked in the middle of the room i think it made it look kind of open and you know lots of people get around and it made it like a central place in the house whereas in the corner it's just a bit darker i guess but then i changed all the cupboards and shelves and um counters and things so that it kind of matched the vibe and i did put a little seating area in which i thought was really cute but <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you've just seen I've put pictures from Movie Hangout above the chair in the bathroom and let me tell you, it was so, so hard because there are, so if you haven't tried it yet, you should check it out. Her at on Insta is at Simmer, M-Z-E-M-Z-Y and <laughs> there are like rules and the only ones that applied to me really was you can't use romantic garden stuff and movie hangout and romantic garden stuff caused me no issues i didn't even reach for anything in that pack but movie hangout stuff i used so or i kept trying to use so often then being like oh wait i can't and oh my god <laughs> like it was such a challenge like if you want a shell challenge that's an actual challenge this is it for you this is what you need to try because i struggled so much and I think mainly it's because I was trying to fit a lot in what I thought was a big space, but it's actually not that much. So you might have seen by the living room, there was actually a door with another room. I was going to have that as a bathroom, but then I thought oh, it's really strange to have the bathroom really, really far away from the bedrooms in that side, especially since there's so many windows by the living room where it would be. Like if it was just a WC, a, a wall closet with a toilet and a sink, it would make sense. You know, oh, you're in the living room, you're just going to pop to the loo. But when it was like the bathroom, the main bathroom for the downstairs bedrooms, it would seem strange to walk all the way through the house just to get there. So I ended up changing that and then I just really was all over the place with what I was doing. So I'm like, I'm doing the upstairs landing now. And it was like, wait, I had even finished some of the other places that I decided to do. I think because I just really struggled. I really went back and forth with it a lot. Like, And when I actually finished it, I really didn't like it. So... <laughs> I started all over again. <laughs> so what you're actually going to see is the speed build of this build and then you're going to see screenshots comparing this build to what I actually finished with. <laughs> Which sounds so stupid. I just, I really, I didn't like it. Like, I think this was the driving point as well. When I did this living room and it's really spacious and modern and clean, I thought it seems really strange that this this one room has lots of space when everywhere else is really really cramped you you might disagree with me i prefer the living room this way around because there's more room and then i thought oh, and imagine if the kitchen had more room and imagine if the dining space had more room and imagine if there was maybe only one bedroom downstairs and it had more room and so yeah i'm gonna upload both builds to the gallery just because from a gameplay sense it might make more sense to have three bedrooms but for the challenge because she's like mc's picking a winner I felt it made more sense to go with the one that I felt looked best. I mean, to be fair, you might look at this and be like, uh, the first one looks so much better. Why would you even <laughs> change it? But I don't think it does. I think the second one is better. And you'll see when we get to the screenshot part. But yeah, I did. I, I don't hate this build as much now that I'm watching it back. I really think I was maybe being a bit harsh on myself. I'd spent, to be fair, at, by the time I'd finished just this first build, I'd spent 11 hours on it. 11 hours 11 whole hours it was it was a long one and 
I think that's the longest I've spent on a build in such a long time because I've only been doing tiny builds. Which, you know, is maybe my own fault. I should have pushed the boat out a bit sooner, but oh, it was such a struggle. I really like felt it in my heart trying to do it and I really wasn't wasn't happy with it at all. So you know I can't say that I'm sad about the decision because I am really happy with how the originals turned out and I will do a tour through of that. So basically there'll be this section, then there'll be the screenshots and then I'll do a tour of the final house. But both will be uploaded to the gallery. So if you want to see both for yourself, they'll both be there. Um but yeah. Oh man, I mean, I don't know. I don't know whether I was just a bit overreacting, but I'm sure we've all had it where we've seen something and thought, I'm not happy with it, and then just start all over again. No? Just me? Okay. Okay, so we're moving on to the screenshots now of what I actually did versus what the end product was, because there's quite a big difference. I really wasn't happy with it. The outside isn't that different. You know, you could just see that I've moved it so it's more central on a smaller lot, so there's more decking space, I guess. The table's out the back now. At the front is more of like a proper entranceway, but the inside, so the kitchen is quite small, but there's two bedrooms downstairs, whereas in the second one, the kitchen is a lot bigger and the there's only one bedroom downstairs, which is quite a big change, but there's not a lot I really could do about it because I feel like it looked better this way. Um, and then the upstairs, the bathroom's in the corner so that it had the big window and then the bedroom was kind of just slide around it. I felt it looked wrong. So I actually moved it so that the bathroom is on the other side and that there's lots of light in the bedroom. And I just think it looks so much cleaner and so much nicer. Okay, so now we are moving on to the tour and I just wanted to show this absolutely amazing view with this little path that leads right up to the build. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it looks so, so good. So we're going to start at this end. Now it's moving quite slowly, so I'm going to have to apologise in advance for that and I might have to, whoops, maybe tab out and zoom in a bit more just to make sure that it gets into the house. But yeah, you see you've got a little barbecue, little dining area, which is just amazing. Like, imagine sitting there eating, looking out at that. The pier, this lighthouse thing over here, all the waves, it just looks stunning. It is paused at the minute, but normally, like, even the waves, like, roll and crash onto the beach. It's just gorgeous. It's so, so stunning. And, you know, if you don't like the build, you've got to at least like the view. <laughs> so yeah, we come in the front door here. And, you know, you can see the stairs, this little um, thing underneath it. It's strange that it's got plates in it. And if I could change what was on the inside, I would, but I can't. So you stuck with it. But there's a nice little old antique painting here, which I think is cute, you know, a bit of character. And then there's like, you know, a coat um, rack and an umbrella stand. And I, uh, yeah, I think it's so cute. I think it's really practical for what you'd actually want in a house. So you come this way. And then there's the kitchen. It looks dark right now, but that's because all the lights are on automatic. But I think that's good because then you get to see the, um, you know, the actual, you know, how the light affects the room. Because there are a couple of skylights in this build. But yeah, so this is the kitchen. You just go around the breakfast bar. That's what a real sim would do. I like this painting here. It's actually like one of the unlockable ones from one of the careers, but it shouldn't be... I mean, it should appear in your build, it should be fine, so there's no worries there. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love, like, imagine, now nobody likes washing the pots, but imagine washing the pots to this view. Imagine, you've got them all stacked up here, you wash them in the sink, you put them here to dry, and all this while you're just watching the ocean crash. I think that's, oh, I would live here. I would actually live here, not to toot my own horn, but I think I've done a great job, and... As well, I'm trying to get better at using clutter things. So let me just zoom out a bit. But yeah, you see, like I've got some ketchup and some mayo, and oh, I don't know if that does anything. It's got a little hand, but spice rack, knives, more knives. This thing from Tiny Living, which I adore. It's got like a little cookbook and some oven mitts, and then there's some tea over here. This cereal thing that's not quite on it, but we're going to ignore that. And then some more like cookbook pretend things. Little flower thing that you can pretend from your child and then some more utensils i mean i just think it looks good like this i think it looks 
not overly cluttered, but like a normal kitchen if it didn't have any cupboards. Oh, and there's also some spare pans on the fridge. Not that your sim would use them, but uh, we shall move on. <laughs> so now we're into the dining area. There's also obviously this breakfast spa, but you've seen that. You can also see right through here, but we'll leave that for now. So yeah, there's this picture. I went for kind of like a more orange theme throughout the house. Like you'll see bits of orange everywhere. And I quite like that, you know, it makes everything feel a bit more cohesive and clean and together which i love and um, we'll go here next which is just this is just a teeny tiny bathroom because apparently even in a bigger build i still hate myself so yeah i'll zoom out right out just so that you can see there's a toilet some plants a bath and some pictures super cute but we're gonna get out of it because uh it might make you feel a bit claustrophobic your sims are fine with it though everything's functional and then over here, we've just got a little toddler room. And if this is not one of the cutest things you've ever seen. Oh, like there's some little rabbits on the wall and some little posters and a nice bright room. And the back of the, whoops, the back of the house is completely like fenced in. So nobody will be able to see your child. Oh, I think it's so cute. And even like the little purple stripes to match the purple curtains on the bay window here I think it's so cute and it's so easily changeable as well like obviously in the other builds this room was blue and I don't know why but because I was moving my sim self in I thought if I adopt a baby girl she's having this room this is what she's gonna have so I stuck with it but yeah I love this dining area I think it looks really really cute and it's such a you know more open space since it's not cluttered like the other one now because it's all spread out a bit more so whilst it's a shame to not have another bedroom i think it just makes more sense especially for playing it make it so much easier but we do have this little desk area which i think is so cute you might recognize this is like the keep hanging on cat poster which i think is cute and there's like a little calendar here magazine rack i mean this is basically what you need for an office space i've even left this little bit here just in case you had something that you want to spot maybe like a picture with your sims and stuff i think it's cute and then this has got to be one of my favorite areas so you see the skylight look at how amazing it makes this room look i mean to be fair that's all these windows too but this was this was the one thing i knew that i wanted in this build i knew that i wanted this bright open room uh, there's the back door with the closed in outside space but yeah this sun soaked room honestly is exactly what i wanted it to be it's so gorgeous and there's lots of seating space all of the sims will sit in all of these chairs this is this is um far enough away for them to be able to get in so <laughs> i love it i love it so much so and then over here i extended this little reading note so if grandma comes to stay she's got her own little spot but how gorgeous does this look with the fire and even like the little scene outside of the window like this looks gorgeous day or night and i always have the fire on but there is a lamp here in case you didn't want it on for some reason and some little pictures too just to you know really set grandma's scene give her a nice space and then yeah it comes back into this area which i love i love the flow of the downstairs i think it works so so well that's because like you can go to the kitchen dining area or you can go straight to the living area or you can even just stay there or get to the bedrooms i think it's really cool but yeah so now we're gonna go up the stairs i'm just gonna tab out oh and has it gone straight up oh sick so yeah straight into this area love it i think it's really cute there's a little door here again if you've got anything that you want to put in like storage wise so like i have these boxes in as if it's like a real storage area that your sims might use you know well i guess they will use those things from seasons but this bit here i love this so you've just got like imagine going up to bed and you've just got this ocean view i think it looks amazing and there's some like paintings there you know maybe you don't know where to put it up and you thought actually they look all right there and you've left them then there's also a little chest set here i'm not normally one for putting skill building items in but i thought it looked really nice and imagine like just playing chess and leaning forward and looking out at this i just i think it's a nice use of the space and then there is also like this little um console here with some bits on and a mirror and a flying pig because dreams do come true pigs have flown <laughs> and then this this has got to be one of my favorite things about this film and the biggest reason why i'm glad that i changed from the original build to this build are you ready 
I mean, there's my sim self. Hi, 20. But yeah, this is her bedroom. And I am absolutely obsessed. I love how sun drenched it all is. I love this little reading nook here. Again, at the night time, the candles will light it up so it looks super bright. But there is also, you know, a couple of lamps. Oh, there's just this lamp. And oh no, there's this wall light too as well. So it doesn't feel too dark. It just feels like it has a nice ambiance to it. But imagine, imagine this being where you sleep i would honestly like have naps in here all the time and as well i put this little dressing area in so even though there's like men's and women's clothes there just ignore that because that's there's just only these four options and i wanted it to fill it and also i put in this mirror these um like single mirrors all the way around so it just looks a lot bigger and i love that and then one element that i really knew that i wanted to keep was having the bath by the window so i put another the bath by this window which was there originally so it made more sense to be honest and then there's obviously a little shower cubicle here with the same divider i mean this room is decorated pretty similar because i was really really happy with how it turned out i just i knew i wanted more sun in the room and this i mean this is just one of my favorite things so i'm going to leave you with this scene here thank you so much for watching and keeping up with what's going on and i can't wait to see you all in the next one hopefully it's not speedball this time Please like and comment and subscribe. And thanks again. I keep saying thank you forever. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye.